The Biden jobs miracle keeps grinding away with a, quote, stellar March jobs report logging nearly 300,000 new jobs that blew away even the most meth-pumped analysts on Wall Street, and it makes the third month in a row of improbably tremendous job beats. Just one problem, it was all part-time jobs. Full-time jobs actually fell by 6,000. Continuing a trend over the past year where full-time workers have collapsed by almost a million and a half, replaced by nearly two million part-time workers, put them together and presto, job growth. Sadly, what real jobs are left apparently did not even go to native-born Americans. In fact, they lost precisely 651,000 jobs last month, bringing the three-month tally to nearly 1.5 million jobs lost by the native born in three months. In fact, there's been literally zero job growth for native born workers since 2018. All the jobs have gone to the foreign born population, of which, according to the Center for Immigration Statistics, roughly half actually went to the 9 million illegals. To give a sense of the scale, over one in three US born men with a high school degree are not working. Things are fine, of course, for those with a bachelor's degree. 90% of them have a job and no doubt cheap nannies and lawn care. Keep in mind this is all best case because I've mentioned in recent videos the epic statistical divergence between official payroll numbers sampled from companies and the household numbers which actually ask people if they have a job. The gap between the two currently stands at a daunting 9 million phantom jobs. Maybe they exist, maybe they don't. The BLS just extrapolates they don't actually work here. Now, I mentioned in recent videos that the most amazing thing about the grim jobs picture is that this is happening even with $2 trillion deficits that should, in theory, at least be buying some jobs. After all, spend that much money and somebody gets paid. In other words, we can only imagine what's under the hood once you peel off the trillions pouring out of Washington. So as next, brought to you by Unchained.com, given both the border and Washington's checkbook are wide open, expect yet more millions of migrants to boost the jobs numbers while holding down wage gains for natives who do still have a job. Just a few weeks ago, Jerome Powell actually bragged about this on 60 Minutes, crediting the open border for holding down blue-collar wages, which he likes because it does the inflation dirty work for him. Of course, at the expense of those blue-collar workers, or former workers, buying groceries on layaway while Paul Krugman lectures them about the Bidenomics miracle. Do not expect much relief, at least until the election, and even then it will be trench warfare against a uniparty that is addicted to the government spending, the regulatory jihad on small business, and the cheap imported labor that keeps jobs and wages under control. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.